When I started thinking about how to approach this project, I began by trying to consider the boxes that control our own lives. I searched for something symbolic or metaphorical, something super meaningful to everyone, something unique that would be really impressive to touch on. And then I realized, there is one box, actually a very literal one, present in each and every person's life. And this box is helpful, even necessary, but it is also limiting. This box has powers we don't even realize. It can control our emotions, share almost any piece of knowledge, and limit our creativity. We are all unique. We live each day individually, meeting different people, seeing different things. Everyone's experience differs from the next person's. Humankind has always lived this way. Yes, we are all unique, but in a way we are all the same. Or rather, we grow more and more similar as the years go by. And this is because each individual person allows themselves to be controlled by the same thing, a tiny, insignificant, trivial thing. A box. We use our cell phones every single day in nearly every part of life. Our schoolwork, our jobs, our means of communication. I myself use it to talk to friends, to do work, to distract myself, to procrastinate. I'm using it right now to create this video. And even still, this topic is only a new interest of mine. Becoming a senior in high school and becoming an adult inevitably causes reflection. And the time that I've wasted on my cell phone, eating into this addiction of constantly staring at a screen, has become overwhelmingly obvious to me. I have since promised myself that this would change, that I would put down my phone and make my time on this planet worthwhile. Here, I'd like to show you all these moments in which I felt the need to take a video of what was going on around me. It must have seemed a great idea at the time. But right now, I can't help but wonder whether my inclination to take these videos caused me to miss out on something more. If I had limited my phone's control over my life, my obsession with capturing the perfect picture or the coolest video, or maintaining a reputation on social media, would I have more friends, or rather more legitimate friends? Would I have more memories? Would I know more, be more educated? Would I sleep more often? Would I have more free time? Would I be less stressed, more relaxed, more creative, more energetic? Would I be happier? I believe the answer is yes. So next time that you want to pick up your phone, take a second to think, do you need to use it in class or should you pay attention to your lesson on Shakespeare? Do you need to use it as soon as there are no customers at work or should you restock or wipe the counters down? Do you need to video an entire concert or take 50 of the same pictures with your friends or text someone while you're talking to someone else? New ideas, genuine relationships, lasting memories, they aren't found on your phone. We need to be able to live outside of this device, outside of the box, if you will. Using your phone a little less won't solve the world's problems, but it's a start to solving your own. We need to preserve education, creativity, happiness. How can we do that if we can't even stand to put our phone down and just live?